All right then, gang, so you have reached now the end of the course. Well done. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you've learned at least something along the way. And I hope this has not been an epic waste of the last five hours of your life. If it has, I apologize profusely. I promise that was not my intention. Honestly, thanks for watching. So if you feel now that you want to take your knowledge even further and become a front end web development ninja, then I already have loads more playlists on this YouTube channel for free to teach you more about CSS, more about HTML, and if you're feeling bold, more about JavaScript. So I'm going to start off with this other playlist I've got. And by the way, all the links to these are going to be down below in the video description. So first of all, CSS animation. This is a complete series all about making cool animation effects in CSS. So that is a lot of fun. Then we have CSS Flexbox and Flexbox is another part of CSS that is going to really help you out with laying out content. So I'll leave this link down below as well. That's interesting. Then we have styling an HTML5 form. So if you want more practice with creating web forms and styling those and making them look good, definitely check out this short series. Then we have CSS Grid, which is Mm, kind of like an upgrade from CSS Flexbox in a lot of people's eyes anyway. It's really interesting, a really nice way to lay out content on your page. So there's about 10 videos here for you to learn that. And then when you feel really comfortable with CSS and HTML, I'd say that the next step to take your websites to the next level is to learn JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is an absolutely amazing language and it allows us to add interactivity to a website. Things like react to click events when a user clicks on a button or something, or to interact with a database, maybe to get some data for our web pages, or even to generate dynamic HTML templates. Now, I've got a free introductory course all about modern JavaScript right here on YouTube, which is about six hours long. And that is going to teach you all the basics of JavaScript, get you up and running pretty fast so you can start adding this interactivity to your websites. And then after that, I've got a full, long, extensive course all about JavaScript on Udemy, which is about 22 hours long. And that is going to take you from absolute novice to absolute ninja in JavaScript for the web. There's going to be loads of content inside this course, everything from the very basics all the way up to creating things like a weather app. So if you want to learn more and become a true web ninja, definitely check out this course. I'm going to leave a link to this down below, which is going to automatically apply this coupon code so you can get it for $9.99 instead of $99.99. So hopefully I'm going to see you there very, very soon. So again, I really hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have enjoyed them, then please show your support by liking and sharing them. And definitely don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tutorials in the future. And until then, keep on coding.